Alright. That's been a little technical difficulties earlier, but we're back now. So, starting from the beginning. Welcome back to Let's Play. Ogre Battle, let us cling together, because we're vaccinated, so we can do that now. We are a party of adventurers, who we create our knights, heroes, what have you, who we created the last session after completing the tutorial. We need to make our way down to the town of Risaro, or to liberate this area from enemy troops. So, let's get started. Alright, so, as I said, you have maximum of 12 troops. However, some missions will um, be in, four, in three ranks of four, or what have you. I actually believe it's uh, four ranks of three. Or three rows of four, depending how you depending how you want to count it. Sometimes they'll split them up to multiple deployment areas based on uh, the map. And as you can see from the little arrow over here, this is direction that side towards enemy. All right, so Ethelred, Nidus is two of our main frontline fighters. Jeremy is one of our player characters, is the one of the posters in the RPG Net forums who requested to have a character name for them in the game. If you too wish to join uh, the party, you can go to the RPG Net forums with the link in the show notes with information on how to, uh, as, far, for, as far as for the edited Let's Play information, how to join the party. Uh, we need an offensive spellcaster. And we need an archer. I'm going to sexy save my game here. In case it becomes a problem, uh, the crash becomes a problem again. And start the game. Wallace the Rebels, here? The Nomorica has fallen for true. Reinforcements for their kinsmen we have pinned down in Cresario, I reckon. Can't let them pass. Make peace with the light, Rollister Strine. Today you die. Adjust the resolution a bit. There we go. All right, let's see. The, there we go. That works. That works a little bit better. Adjusting things a little bit. So. Let's duplicate the stuff on my screen. There we go. And I'll probably get some more tutorial stuff, so Canopus is rejoining us. You looked a lonely lot. Thought I might join you. I am Canopus. Step forward and meet your fate. Dogs! Alright, and as always, I have strategy guide, and we're taking advantage of that somewhat in these. For the scripted fights. Help me plan some specs. Well... So, um, let 
So it looks like I'm from the map, these pit areas. Have loot in them. However, the party doesn't really have anybody who can get out of get into and out of them safely, so I'm not gonna worry about it. This one. I can come back to this area later. Don't want the mages the my casters to get too far in front. So they're squishy. I want to keep them a spot where they can do things if I need them to do things. Okay, so they can't get in, get in and out of there. Okay. We got a log. This is a Wallister fight. We need so help, no help from you. Nobody ever, eh? So how did so one so young grow so thick, grow so thick of skull? <laughs> thick? I'll give you thick. Ow! Not the wings. Vice, control yourself. You can now use the ch chariot tarot. During the battle, the game keeps track of the last 50 turns. The Chariot Tarot allows you to return to any of the previous turns and replay the battle from that point. This is the other of the big quality of life features for the PSP version. The reason why I'm playing this one. Yes, I'm doing using an emulator, which means I can save use save states, but this is a bit more graceful and more elegantly in, or intuitively implemented into the game, meaning that I can just more easily activate it as I need to rather than worrying to worry about when my last save was. The only version events is stored something from the original, so you're free to choose a more terrible course. Access the Chariot Tarot by pressing the uh, L bumper, or press the Start button next to the System menu and select the Chariot Tarot command. So, as an example, I could instead have a mage move down the hole instead, but he can't, so I'm not going to. Is that, or there's nothing to move down that hole because he can't get back out again. And now go through the dialogue once again. And give the tutorial as well. And now what that lets me do is I can still have Denim go in that hole because he's already leveled up and just and this time, I pulled a magic leaf instead of a log. Yeah, so you are undamaged, so that's fine. So I'm going to have you hold position here then, because you can still get to all the party. Okay, so floor this forward, I can move here, is there. And does that let me get in the range of anybody with the paralytic wave? No. So... Actually, can I, just, can I just shoot somebody from here? No, I have to move forward.
All right, so you get the first shot in. All right, so I have a two hit range. Okay, 60% from up close. So either, 60% either way. Um, here. And I got some knockback in. And a crit. This will block. Today we fight for Wallace or Honor, but where does it lead? What's the matter? Lose your nerve? Or does the negative of your passive sister unmanned you? Always hanging behind her skirts. Dick. <clears throat> Think of calling a bully besides. That's enough squawking out of you, br br And a racist! You're a bird than a brute. You're not men, you're children! Yes, you are. That is correct. That is a accurate complaint. All right, so I can't flank. Although I can't do a back attack on you, so I have to... Also, you can, you can in fact, hit yourself if you feel so inclined on your teammates. But I do not feel so inclined. I have to ask, I have to ask you a question. Let me tell you a thing about too about battle denim. Clear their axe from your ear, wax from your ears, and listen. When you fearsome, whether you face a fearsome giant or a timid dormouse, the key is to divide and conquer. Focus your attacks on one enemy at a time, and you'll emerge the victor. For example, that archer we were taking on earlier. Denim, sibyls, and mages cannot withstand the withering attacks of the front lines. Keep us in the back where you can support our warriors from afar. Be mindful of his position to bring us no closer than need be. Use a bird's eye view, view if you are unsure of the distance. Ah, thank you. Speaking of which, I am also going to heal. So you are a little dinged up. You are a lot more dinged up, so I'm just going to heal you because you're a level 1 character. And I'm just going to hold position. Enemy unit. Enemy unit, I think. Paralytic wave will work now. Okay, it, all right. So it will hit vice, but I don't feel too bad about that. And it missed all of them. Oh, come on. The ref or let's see refresh from the start of the turn. Thirty five, forty six, and twenty seven. Okay, so ah, uh, well, try again next turn. Why is going for the kidney punch? In two. I'm curious, does a height affect damage? 
18. It does affect hit chance. Crossbows. All right, so I can still hit you with my spear, though I have a reduced chance of doing so. From there. No, I mind the same hit chance either way. I'll just finish you off. One piece of advice, Denim. I'm no parrot, so I'll say this only once. You're familiar with TP, technical points, yes? Action skills, special skills, and finishing moves all require TP to execute. TP accumulate over time and as a unit steal and receive damage. You're going to need a weapon skill of rank 2 before you can use a finishing move, though. All right, so the move you move up. Thank you. Gonna try Paralytic Wave again. All right, um, okay, here we go. All right, so close as I can, no, is here, get a better shot. Oh, uh, no. I'll try this one. This, this, this one will hit the archer. Triple fourth and you wave of darkness, steal five temples of the soul to bind them in your blindness. Nope, oh, still missed. They're attacking the mage who hasn't actually hit crap so far. All right.
There we go. And me... Archer, okay, so you are going to have you move up and finish them off. Hey, you got a tarot. There we go. Now this one should actually get you and not hit any other party members. Oh, and still missed. RNG does not like me today. You're beat up. You're kind of beat up, but you are more beat up, so I'm going to heal you. All right, too close to throw a rock. Right from here. I'm just wait there and make sure I actually get that card. Ah, and that was a level boost for the character who picks it up. Great. Okay, healing. We have. You are at 62. Full. Full. Mostly full. Mostly full, full. Uh, feel a little more beat up. So I can't. So I can hit you. Can't hit you yet. Nice. All right. Can't attack anyone else right now, so let's leave it like that. Okay, so there was a treasure down there, and that one. All right. I'll have you go after the boss. Can I hit the boss with a spell? Not likely, but, you know. There! Finally, I hit somebody! <laughs> and my prayers become a beacon, guide to gods to heal your blight. All right. Speaking of skills...
I'm just going to heal myself. Out of range. All right, can't get a good hit in. If I attack from here, I will hit Vice, and I don't want to do that. What we'll do is I'll be, I won't be a jerk. And I'll give you a heal. You've already landed my debuff on you, so I need to hit you with another one. No place to die, this. Bunch of bronze Oberynth and a grimoire. Mage's Mark. But the cleric class and the wizard class. A, 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 a bunch of them, really. And 87 XP for everybody. Sure. Yes, please. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. 